So you are not sure if you should purchase a 360 camera or a drone. And I've been using this for the last three years, basically. And I used to have quite a lot of cameras. And which one is the best for your needs? And what is really the experience to have a 360 camera, a drone? And which one in the end of the day I prefer? If you want to know everything, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack and if you love EOCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And we are going to talk about 360 cameras and drones and why did I purchase recently a drone and why having a drone is so related to have another action camera. You will understand that in a second, but let's start with 360 cameras. I started using a GoPro Max basically two years ago and that camera was simply amazing. I love that camera, but it was coming a lot of things that I didn't like. And if you never use a uh, 360 camera, I have to say to you, that is very time consuming. Yes, it can film everywhere, it films all the angles and you always have something to show, but it takes a lot of time. When you are using a simply action camera, you catch where you are pointing and that's it. You don't have to realign all your footage. And that was one of the big reasons why I stopped using so much action cameras with 360 capabilities. But there is another thing that you need to consider if you want a 360 camera. And we are talking about those lenses. They, they are, they protrude a lot and they are very, very easy to scratch and even to damage. And that's how in one year I had to basically buy a new action camera because my GoPro Max was completely broken. And in that time, I was so tired of all the footage that I have to always edit and I was always filming like four hours, five hours in a row. That's why I purchased the GoPro Hero 9 Black and this became my main camera and that brings the drone. So coming back to a 360 camera, definitely you can do a bit of the effect of a drone following you if you have a selfie stick. And by the way, this is my favorite selfie stick that I have reviewed on the channel. So definitely check that video out because this selfie stick have something unique. When we are talking about 360 cameras, they give you the sensation of a drone. It doesn't allow you to go as high as a drone or filming completely from the top of you. That is where a drone comes in the game. So when we look to the drone, the drone is essential to give you the sensation of space where you are filming, where you are riding your skateboards or your electric unicycles and all those stuff. And that's why I got the DJI Mini 2. It's quite small. I don't need to have a license. That is not a lot of sensors, so it's easy to crash. But this will be a great complement with a normal action camera. And by the way, when we talk about the 360 and comparing GoPro with Insta 360 One R, with the Insta, you can really film from the side. With the GoPro, is going to give you a lot of distortion. And when we talk about distortion, that is another thing why I basically stop using so much 360 footage is because my audience, you guys, never like it so much to see big videos just in 360. You guys were saying that I should go for a normal footage and that's also one of the reasons why why I swap around from a 360 to a normal action camera like the GoPro Hero 9 Black. This costs, for example, around 600 and this too is basically 900. Obviously, it's more money, but if you put all together, it may be a better combination because it's going to give you much more angles. And when you are using a normal action camera, it allows you to shoot something much, much closer. That is something that I was not able to do with a 360 camera. It always gives you that sensation that things are really really far but the main reasons for me that I don't shoot anymore so much anymore basically with a 360 camera is the time consuming to edit everything is too much for me so that's why I prefer this combo if you like electric mobility and you want to support the channel I have already released some of the shirts available to purchase so feel free to check it there my name is Marco this is Matt Peck if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one.